guys, it's I'm Stark, and today we're looking at atoms and atomic structure and chemical bonding. So to start off, we'll just say, what is an atom? So an atom is the smallest part of an element that can be recognised as that element. So an element is just a substance made of simply one type of atom, and a compound is two elements which have been chemically combined. But now on to more interesting stuff, and we'll look at atomic structure. So below, you've got the picture of oxygen, and this has two um, shells in the inner, um, the inner shell, uh, two electrons, sorry, in the inner shell, which is the most you can have. Then it has six on the outer shell. Now this only has two shells, but you can have four shells, and things like calcium um, do have four shells because they have, um, they have 20, that has 20 electrons in it. All right, so this one here has two and then six, but what it does go like is in the inner shell you can have two, then the other, the other three outer shells, you can have eight in each of them, at most. Okay, and this works with everything. So, for example, nitrogen will have two in its inner shell and five on its outer shell because it has seven. And if you go on to more, um, calcium, for example, as I mentioned earlier, it has, um, it has 20 uh, electrons. So it goes two in the inner shell and then eight, eight, and then two again. So now we'll go on to chemical bonding. So... You can tell lots of, well, first of all, we'll just say about um, w what it matters about if what it has on its outer shell. So things like potassium, for example, are very reactive because they only have one on their outer shell, which means they only have one to lose, all right? Um, and then, but however, things like neon, which um, is an argon, which are both noble gases, are very unreactive because they have a full outer shell. So what you do when you go through the elements in the periodic table, you can see what group they're in. So, for example, if you look at fluorine, which is just um, a very odd example, but I just chose that one for no reason, um, it has a chemical structure of two, um, of two and then seven, all right? But what you want to do to get it to, so it's stable, is you have to get it so it's, um, the, it, the second, it's got a four out of shell at the end, so that would make it two and then eight. Right? And that's, um, that's adding one electron. But because you add one electron, you're actually it's going to be minus because then it has more electrons than it has protons. And do remember that protons have a positive charge. So P for po positive, that's how I remember. And then um, electrons has a negative charge. So if it's adding electron, then you can have one more electron than a proton. So that means that it's going to be a negative charge. On the other hand, something with a positive charge is aluminium. So this is the chemical um, thing of two, eight, three. And then of course, to get the outer shell, what, um, to, to, so you can get two, eight, which you want, because you want to lose three electrons, um, then you get two, eight. Now, of course, you're losing three electrons, so you've got three more protons, which of course, positive charge, than electrons, so it's going to be plus three. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you didn't find it too complicated. If you did, then please comment and I will go over it in more detail on another video if you want me to. Alright, bye. Thanks for watching. Please, can you please video my website? Well, not video, sorry. Uh, can you please check out my website, which is www.imstuck.wix.com slash imstuckgcse revision. And then you can get all these quizzes and useful tips for GCSE and oh, of course if you're in America SATs and all of those kind of things so please check that out and see you soon bye